The Providence Mobile Newsroom moving back to the capital city now. Tonight, we're hearing from moviegoers at the Cable Car Cinema, now slated to close at the end of the month. It was first breaking last night at 11. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has the reaction. According to the Rhode Island School of Design, which owns the space the theater is housed in, its 10-year lease was set to expire in September, but we've learned that the last day of operation will be on May 27th. Sad news for film fans in Providence as Cable Car Cinema is set to roll its final closing credits in a month. I recently just saw Death of Stalin. That was amazing. Matthew Reeves works at RISD and often frequents the theater. On Friday night, we broke the news that its days are numbered. I'm shocked to find out that it may not, may not be sustained. It's sat up on College Hill for more than 40 years. Since the mid-1970s, the business on South Main Street has been screening independent and foreign films. It's one of those institutions that it's just without it, it, it doesn't feel like Providence. But Thursday night in a Facebook post, its owners broke the news Cable Car would soon be closing its doors. Saying in part, there were many business factors considered. The changing nature of film exhibition, the changing habits of media consumption, and the fact that we do not own our building. For the past year, we have been negotiating with RISD, our landlord, different scenarios to make it feasible for the Cable Car Cinema to continue in its current spot. Unfortunately, that has not worked out. What will, what will become of this space? And... I don't know, like I can't imagine any other business there. What could fill its shoes? A spokeswoman for RISD says the school offered to lower the theater's rent, telling us, unfortunately, Cable Car declined our offer and informed us their decision to close was not based on finances. Some moviegoers say the decision marks the end of an era and a call for action. We really kind of value what we culturally want or else we're all going to be big box stores and not have individual identity. And the owners also said on social media that if the right opportunity arises, they might bring back cable car in another location and in another form. But in the meantime, people here in Providence, they're going to continue to enjoy this piece of history while they have it. Reporting in Providence, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.